I wanted to see you again. I also wanted to see you. Really? Nanakuma! I'm Ayato Ishida. I'm a single office worker. I don't have a girlfriend though. Anyway, I'm on the way to pick up my niece from a nursery school. It's half past six already. Hope she's not grumpy. Hi! I'm here to pick up Yurina Ishida. Hi! How are you? She's waiting for you in a good mood. Really? Glad to hear that. Well, oh, there she is. She is my niece, Yurina Ishida, who is now playing with her teacher. She's my older sister's only child. Because they now stay at our parents' house for a reason. I sometimes pick her up instead of my sister. Huh? I have never seen the teacher who is playing with her. Hey! Ayato-kun! Yurina! Sorry for being late. It's okay. I was playing origami with Gyoka-sensei. Great! Thank you so much! No worries. She was a good girl. Excuse me, but are you new here? She's really pretty. Yes, I work here from this April. I see. Hashirite Sensei. Your last name is rare. Yeah, people always say so. Oh, my bad. I know a girl with the same last name. This teacher looks like my female classmate in high school. Her vibe is totally different to the girl, but the girl was as pretty as her. Wait, is there another woman who has like this beauty and the same last name? I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but... Are you Kyoko Hashirite from Nishi High School? Huh? I'm Ayato Ishida! Do you remember me? J just come here! What? She held my suit sleeve and took me into an empty classroom. Please! Please don't tell anyone about my high school life! Oh, okay. It left a bad taste in my mouth and left the nursery school. <laughs> I feel bad for her. Because... She was head of a ladies' motorbike gang in high school. Even teachers gave up on her who controls bad people. However, she was a kind and pretty teacher today, and I couldn't even think they were the same person. I guess that since she changed herself like that, she want to forget about her past. But... She must not feel good when someone like me who knows her past suddenly shows up. Ayato-kun, can you pass me Zorigami? Oh, here you go. Thank you! While I was thinking like that, my sister came back home. I'm back, Yurina. Sorry for being late. I'll cook right now. Ayato-kun cooked dinner for me, and I ate it. Oh, really? Thank you, Ayato. Never mind. How was your day? Well, can I go pick her up again tomorrow? It's helpful, but are you sure? Yeah, I promised it with Yurina. Really? Oh, did you fall in love with the new teacher at first sight? Did you see the pretty one? Kyoka sensei is beautiful. Right. N no. <laughs> Sorry for teasing you. Thank you for your kindness. Uh-huh. But... What? If you fall in love with her, I'll support you. H hey <laughs> All right, let's go take a bath, Irina. Yes! Anyway, I gotta get ready for tomorrow. Well, my pen is out of ink now. I think another is here. She might cringe if she knows I still have it. She didn't fit in the class in high school. When we were in grade 11, everyone kept a distance from her. On the other hand, I was a normal student. I became a sports festival executive committee because I lost rock, paper, scissors. Then, I needed to ask everyone which event they want to join. So I tried to talk to her for the first time. Excuse me, but... Shut the fuck up! Huh? Well, you know... You're irritating me. I... I haven't said anything yet! Please just write what you want to do in the sports festival! Bye! I left the handout on her desk and ran away. But, a girl like her who has never joined any school events didn't give back the paper to me. Excuse me, 
But I haven't got the handout from Hashirite-san. I actually handed it out. Oh, don't care about her. What? Don't care about her. She won't join it. What's that? I was angry at the teacher, so I decided to convince her ever. If she joins that, her impressions can be changed. Then, I tried to talk to her many times. At first, she kept ignoring me, but gradually started listening to me. I'll join basketball. I learned it in elementary school. Really? The deadline was over already, but I asked the leader of sports festival executive committee, and she could join the female basketball team. Is she really coming to practice? She will. Maybe. Maybe? She really came to the gym for practice. I have only these sneakers. Don't need to be basketball shoes. She was actually good at playing basketball. I can see that it was true she learned it before. After the practice. It was fun. Me too. Yoka, hurry up. I'm coming. When she was talking to other girls, other schoolgirls came to pick her up. It was a great mood. Why did they come now? We shouldn't get involved with her, right? Also, she was late on the day of the sports festival. Teammates got angry and didn't let her join the games, so she was just watching others playing basketball. Hey! Huh? You have a reason for being late, don't you? Then you better tell them that. They will... I took my mom to see a doctor. My dad beat her. What? How could I tell them such a thing in the good mood? Now, don't talk to me anymore. Oh, hey. I hold her uniform sleeve in spite of myself, but I realized immediately that she's afraid of men because I could see fears in her face. D don't touch me! She left the gym and only her button came off her sleeve left in my hand. I wanted to apologize and give it back to her, but she didn't come to school anymore and changed to other school. I've heard that she was an energetic girl until elementary school, but her mother remarried when she was in junior high school, and the new father was an abusive man. He didn't beat her, but her mother was always injured. I guess that she got along with bad people for protecting her mother and herself. However, I couldn't do anything for her. Kyoka sensei Good morning, Irina-chan. Good morning! I made this at home. Here you are. To me? Thank you. I'll treasure this. <laughs> and Ayato-kun made this tulip. Ayato-kun? The man who picked you up yesterday? Yes! Really? Thank you. Whew. I didn't think there was a parent who was in the same high school. Ishida. He got married. What's this? A note? I was sorry yesterday. Don't get nervous because I won't make you trouble. He's still kind. I'll keep it close to heart. On the way back home from work, I went to the nursery school for picking up Yurina. She was drawing while she was waiting for me. Oh, Ayato-kun! Yurina, did you have fun? Yeah, I could give the origami to Kyoka-sensei. Oh, really? G good Then let's go home. W wait Huh? I was sorry yesterday. Oh, I'm also sorry. She looked around, then quietly said, I was happy that you still remember me. Then, she was pretty and looked even younger than when she was in high school. We are now a teacher and a guardian. Ayato-kun, let's go home. Right! Your mom came back home earlier today. So she's now getting ready for dinner. Really? Since then, I pick up Yurina when I have time because I was secretly looking forward to talking with Hashirite. But one day, I knew that she hasn't overcome her fears yet. Hi, Kyoka-sensei. Hi. I got a call that Mizuki-chan's father will pick her up today. Uh, okay. Oh. She looks sad today. What happened? Mizuki, thanks for waiting. Hi, Daddy. 
Kyoka Sensei, Daddy came here. Oh, gr great. Thank you so much. My daughter always tells that the new teacher is really kind. R really? What? She looks impassive. I apologize if I said something bad to you. Not at all. She was a good girl. Give her some rest at home. Th thank you. Hashirita Sensei. Yes? Why do you look like depressed when fathers come to pick up their children? Please keep your smile. I'm sorry. I couldn't help talking to her when I saw her disappointed. K Kyoka Sensei? Oh, Ishida san. Are you alright? You might be annoyed if I worry you, but. Is she still afraid of men? I'm afraid of fathers. Huh? Because my father was really bad. I tried to guard the kids unconsciously, you know, like. I won't forgive you if you hurt them. Oh, really? She probably doesn't want to make children feel the same as herself. That's why she became a teacher. You are a great teacher. Oh, really? Yeah. You try to guard the kids unconsciously, don't you? People will understand that soon. Thank you. I also think that you are a wonderful dad, Ayato kun What? Oh, my bad. Yurina chan called Ayato kun so. She actually has many kinds of face expressions. Oh, I'm not her father. Huh? My sister's husband is now abroad for work, so they now stay at our parents' house. She's also pretty busy, so I sometimes come to pick up Yurina. Really? But the last name is the same. Oh, she got married to Mr. Ishida. I see. Oh, that's why I can talk to you normally, because you are not a father. Right. It could be. I said so, but I was a little disappointed because I was thinking she opens up only to me. Yurina, please. Can you give this origami to your teacher? No, your origami is not cool. Oh my gosh. Hey, what are you asking to a kid? Ouch, my bad. Don't you remember what I said before? What? I will give it to her. My dear sister, appreciate it. Next day, when I was working at the office. Oh, it's time to go home. But my sister will pick up Yurina, so I can work a little longer. She sent me a message. What? Kyoka Sensei is coming to Nanakuma Restaurant at 7.30. What is she talking about? I wrote on the origami. If you have any trouble, feel free to talk to me anytime. But, my sister asked Kyoka-sensei to go to dinner with me. I completed my tasks and went to the restaurant. When I arrived, I could easily find her. She is really beautiful. Are you ready to order? I'm waiting for my friend. I'm sorry. She looks impassive again. Doesn't she become like that only to fathers? H hey Oh, Ishida! When I said hi, she smiled at me beautifully. Oh god, does she open up to me? I'm sorry that I asked you out suddenly, but being late... No worries, I just arrived too. Good, well, don't you like a restaurant like this? Why? Oh, I thought you looked stiff when the waiter talked to you. Oh, really? I'm ashamed. She didn't do it on purpose. It could be like she realized it for the first time when other teachers told her that. Anyway, that's not bad for you. What do you mean? If a beautiful woman like you smiles, waiters get butterflies. Well, did you think of me like that? Oh, yeah? I'm so happy to hear that. While we were having dinner, we talked a lot. She told me after she changed her school, she lived with her mother. It was hard on them financially, but much better than the days she lived with her father. After she graduated high school, she worked as a part-timer and got a teacher license. Then, she got a job here. So, you came back here recently, didn't you? Yeah, my mom got married for the third time, so I started living alone. Really? Oh, the next man is nice, 
but I couldn't accept him. Right. So I came back here. Uh-huh. Then I gotta thank your mom, because she got married again. You came back here to make your own living. I'm so happy to see you again like this, you know? Ishida? Oh, my bad. I shouldn't have said like that. What? Do you remember this? Is this a uniform button? On the day of the sports festival, it came off from your sleeve. I wanted to give it back to you. I was really sorry at that time. I didn't have any idea about your situation. It's okay. I was actually glad when you talked to me, but I didn't know how I should react then. I'm surprised you still keep it. Yeah, I wish to see you again. I also thought so. What? Since then, I took her on some dates and told her I like her. Are you sure? I like you, not others. I like that you tried to overcome your hard situation. Be kind to children and everything. Thank you. I also like you. You tried to talk to me who didn't fit in the class. I really like you. Encourage me always. We finally became official. But I knew that she was afraid of men. So I tried not to get too close to her. But... Today, Yurina's father came back. She told me that at school. Really? She was probably missing her father. Oh, sorry. No worries, I'm alright. But... But? I feel like I'm missing something lately. What? Any problem? I'm always thinking about you even when I'm home. What? Th then, do we go back to the same house? Yeah, I want to stay with you more. From now on, I will protect her by her side.